Welcome back to Famous Fortunes. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me once again. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to the old subscribers. Thank you to the somewhat old subscribers. You guys are all the best ever. Channel's growing amazingly. And I hope you're all enjoying it because I am enjoying it. I know some of you are enjoying it for sure. So we're having a good time. And that's what we're going to do today. We are going to look at today's topic. Did Meghan Markle plot to marry a prince? That is on the cards today. We are going to be doing a reading on this question. And we're going to have a look at did she plot to marry a prince? Because there's a lot of speculation out there. Uh, and we're going to have a look. We are going to have a look. In, a, in, in many respects, this video is a continuation of Famous Fortunes number 38. And if you haven't seen that episode, check it out. But did, did she plot to marry a prince? That's on the cards today. We're going to have a look at that question. We are going to have a look at it real good. All right. So, I'm going to focus on that question now, and we are going to do a reading, and we are going to get an answer. So, hang tight while I focus. All right, cards are hot. Before I pull the cards, um, I am going to say, if you have topics for future videos, put them into the comments uh, below. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments around Meghan Markle's relationship with Soho House. I I don't know a lot about this topic, so I'm, I want to investigate it further. It could be a good follow-up to this video. Help me out and put good questions that I could ask into the comments so we can dig deeper into this topic and get a good overview. When it comes to tarot, it's all about asking the right question and, and phrasing and formulating the question in the right way. I just don't know enough about the topic to do that. But from what I've read in the comments on previous videos, that's certainly something we should look at. So if you're watching this, if you know about the topic, uh, about Meghan Markle's relationship with Soho House and the past and how it may relate to this question, drop the what you think a good question would be for a, for a video on that topic in the comments okay and uh and we'll see what happens all right deck's hot let's have a look did Meghan Markle plot to marry a prince we have here the seven of wands the tower the tower the seven of cups five of excuse me, 10, <laughs> 10, it's the 10 of wands, and the knight of cups, okay, interesting, all right, uh, the underlying energy here is the king of pentacles, the king of pentacles, I'm gonna pull the next card in the spread as well, because it's very relevant to the reading, it is here, the seven of wands. All right, we've got a good reading ahead of us, that I can tell you straight off the bat. All right, underlying energy up there, king of pentacles. So, <laughs> there is some very interesting energies in front of us. Now, the underlying energy here is the king of pentacles. I think this is a good place to start. Why do I think that? Because she clearly, clearly, there's an underlying energy here of wanting to marry the, let's be honest, the richest and most high, uh, uh, and the man, uh, the man of the highest status she could find. So the richest and most high status man she could find, that's the underlying energy here. So did it need to be a prince? 
No, it didn't need to be a prince. The king would be better, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, I think this is really where the Soho House connection comes in, and that's why I'm sort of asking for questions on that topic, but, you know, put that aside. It's not part of this reading specifically, although, you know, elements may, you know, kind of coincide. It's not what we're reading on. Leave the questions in the comments, as I said. But in any event, there's an underlying energy here of rich men of high status. That's what I'm seeing here. It, it's really wealth. I think wealth is the is the overarching factor. That said, though, that said, that said, there's a bit of a story here in how this is actually unfolded in her life. That's how I am seeing this. That is how I'm seeing this because what is happening here is that this. I'm looking at this like a timeline. This, these cards, not the underlying energy. The These cards are a timeline. So we have the beginning of the story is her. There are guys that are interested in her, uh, for sure. And she is, she's standing her ground and she's not, uh, she's not kind of, she's not really interested in them. She's, she's really seeing that, you know, they're not up to her standards in life, uh, you know, all the rest of it. She's not seeing they're on the same level. That's her perception. So she's really knocking back a lot of people based on this, okay? Uh, there's, they're knocking back a lot of people based on this. Then it comes to the tower card. We're, we're kind of finding here that things are not going as she planned in life, okay? There's, there's definitely an energy here of uh, this isn't, this isn't, I'm not actually achieving my, uh, what I'm setting out to achieve here. That's what I'm seeing. It wasn't, she wasn't achieving or she wasn't sort of hooking up with guys or guys weren't interested in her serious, uh, serious sort of prospects, uh, that, that were sort of quote good enough for her unquote, you know what I mean? That weren't on the same level as her. She, she saw herself as able to do better. So that's really, and it didn't work out for her. It wasn't working. It was, uh, it, 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 she couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't bag the King of Pentacles. Let's just, let's say it like that in tarot terms. She was really struggling. It wasn't happening for her. So she's looking at, she's looking at her options in life and she's like, oh, okay, what can I do to make this happen? What I've done thus far has not worked. I need to get, uh, I need to get something happening. What can I do here? Because she is stuck. She is stuck. It's not going anywhere. Her plans are not going forward. And she is... She's she's stuck. And I'm going to say she's kind of out of options in a way. At this point in her life. So it's a story, right? She's going. It's a progression. She's out of options. She's stuck. She's like, damn, I need to do something here. I need to look at other options. Because what I'm getting in this kind of area of my life you know, relationships isn't what I want. She's out of options. She's feeling like this, this whole relationship thing is becoming quite a burden. And she feels like it's just, it's not happening. It's not happening. So again, propels her to look for other options. That is interesting. So th this sort of seems to be where the story changes quite a bit because she's going into life realizing, you know, in her mind, none of these guys are good enough for me. It's quite a, an existential, major, major, major problem for her. It's not working out. Things aren't happening. And it's just a disaster. So this, this is really where she's going to look at other options. She, she feels incredibly... Like this is an incredible uphill battle for her. Uh, but she still pushes ahead, right? This is extremely difficult. Like, do not underestimate how difficult this is at this point for her in her journey. She is, she, she, she's almost like at the point of, you know, it's just not happening. It's just, it, it's just not happening. So through, through this, there's a, there's an evaluation phase that's happening here and she's getting to that phase and she's like, okay, this is where I need to do something different. And, and, and through that, through that phase, she discovers her prince. She discovers a prince, right? She, she gets the opportunity to 
connect with a prince, literally a prince. And it's clearly it's clearly coming up on these cards. And that that is actually where she she uh, she scores. She scores. So she actually get she gets she she actually gets kind of over the line in her mind and she she gets what she in a way is what she set out for. That's that's the story here. That's the story. So did she So going back to the question did she plot to marry a prince? Well, not exactly. It wasn't a prince as such. It would actually be more um, it would be more uh, correct, if you like, to, to say she plotted to marry a king. Now, let that sink in. I know I can just imagine the comments we're going to get on this. She plotted to marry a king. That's really what her preference was. I know. I, I can just see the comments right now. I don't have to be psychic to realize what the comments are going to be on that topic. I think we all know what that means, right? But she plotted to marry a king, a king with money, uh, someone of high status with money. She she didn't hit the king but she hit the prince and that was enough to um well at this stage that's enough uh at this stage it's that was enough for her for, to think that she won so that is the story uh that that is actually the story that's the answer it's pretty clear as far as i can tell now in terms of this, you know, dialing into the, you know, the, the Soho house question and all the rest of it. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not up on, I'm not a hundred percent up on it. So I don't know how to dial into this question. Well, um, but if you feel intuitively that, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a follow-up question to this video, or there's an adjacent topic that we could investigate, uh, and we can, we can really dial into, Hey, let us know. I, I drop it into the comments. Let's, let's get a discussion going on how we could sort of move this topic forward. If there's someone that feels it strongly, there may just be another great question that we can ask. And we'll go from there. If you haven't subscribed yet, then what are you waiting for? Jump on in, subscribe, join Team Famous Fortunes, because that is what we are here for.